Hey y'all, hey, Mandy here, and today I'm filming the first of my three planned Urban Decay Naked on the Run palette looks. Today's look is going to be very simple, easy, go-to look, not very complicated. I think we might only even use two colors of the eyeshadows. And uh, yeah, and if you're interested in what the future looks will be, I'm planning on doing something a little darker and smokier, like a nighttime, going to the bar, going to the club kind of look. And I'm also planning on doing something that is very sophisticated and simple and professional and could easily be worn in an office setting. So those are the three looks I'm planning. So let's get started on today's look. So I don't have any foundation or concealer or anything on at the moment because I have only used them once. I don't know if there's going to really be fallout or anything so I didn't want to get my base all done and then have glitter all over it. So let's just get started. The Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This palette did not come with one. So, I'm just going to use whatever I have, and this is what I happen to have. So, just a little bit on both eyes, all the way up to the brow, and you'll notice, and go under the eye as well, you'll notice I don't do my brows, because I think I have pretty decent brows to begin with. They're a little unruly at the moment, because I'm just letting them do their thing, but... With some plucking, they're pretty decent to begin with, and I don't feel the need to fill them unless I'm really going for a dramatic look. Because I think with my hair being curly and the way it looks very natural, very earthy kind of, uh, just doesn't look right on me. So you probably won't be seeing any sort of brow tutorial from me anytime soon. So the first color I'm going to use is Dive. It is the rose gold right here. I'm just going to take a brush to pack that on with. You know, just use whichever brush brand you have. I'm just going to pack that on the lid. This color is quite shimmery, quite glittery. So, you know, just... Be careful that you don't get a ton of ball out. Like, try to avoid it as much as you can. That's why I'm packing in one instead of swiping. And I just put that all over the lid and then just slightly above to where my natural crease goes. So, that's where it's going on me. So I'm going to take a somewhat fluffy br blending brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk one. With nothing on it and just kind blend around those edges just to soften it up a pinch before we add anything else. So I've just cleaned it off pretty much and I'm going to dip it into this other brown. It's called Fix. Right here, the second color. It's just a very medium tone kind of brown. Just dip it a couple times. Don't get too much and I'm just gonna take that at the line of color right here. This is going to really soften the color right there. Dip into that same color. I'm just going to dust it under the eye. Just lightly. Nothing too crazy. And to just kind of add a little more dimension, we're going to go in with this color that is called Dare. This other matte brown. The darker one. I'm going to take a pencil kind of brush, pointed one, just kind of dip in there a couple times, and just make the V. So then, I'm going to dip into that dark brown again, and just bring it under on the lower lash line, just halfway over. Now I'm going to take the eyeliner that came with this on the Run palette, which is in Stag. I'm just going to very lightly go on the top lash line. Let's see if I can do this and stay in frame. So 
So with the same pencil brush, just dip in the darker of the two matte browns again and just take that one to the liner lightly. I don't want it to be too smeary. I just want it to kind of set the color in place and smear just a pinch. So I'm going to take the stag color onto my waterline as well. Just kind of smudge it into the lashes a little too. Now for mascara, I'm not going to use the one that comes with the palette because I have a few open already and I am trying to write a review on this one soon. So I'll likely put on this one so I can take pictures and get that review up in the next couple weeks. This is the Marinese Eye Curl and I got this in a birch box. So I'm just going to use this one since I want to photograph it today. Okay, so go ahead and try and get all that fall out of way as best as you can. I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation now. Now let's do the bronzer and blush. So I'm just going to go into the bronzer, which is just called bronzer, with the brush I usually use for bronzing, which is the e.l.f. complexion brush. Just dip, dip, dip. Now I have not used this bronzer yet, so let's hope I don't look like a clown. I'm just going to go up here around my hairline okay not looking clownish this is good dip some more hairline some more and then just over here near the cheekbones then I'll diffuse that out a little and on this side bronzing on this side can be a little weird for me because I have this like birth patch discoloration but I try to just make it even as even as I can diffuse it out a little bit and then the jawline and under my chin, just drag it down some. Anything left, I just take on the nose and a little on the chin. And there we go. Next, we'll do the blush. I haven't used the blush either, so I'm excited. I'm just going to tap a little of that onto my brush. Tap it off a little. And lightly tap that on the cheek, like such. And then I'll I just take the tip of the blush brush and dip that in the highlighter and just go right on the cheekbone. On the side too. And then a little on the cupid's bow. I don't like highlighting down my nose because my nose gets oily, so that's something I avoid, but sometimes I'll do just a little right on the tip. And the last step is to add the gloss, so I'm going to put on the gloss in Susso. I think they really picked a good color. I think this is a color that's really going to flatter the majority of people from pale, like myself, to darker. Yeah, so that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I think this would be a really good everyday look. Like getting brunch with the girlfriends, going to the mall, anything like that. Sorry my hair is looking gray, but I couldn't be bothered to do anything with it today. I just couldn't because it is messy outside and rainy and icky and not fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Be nice. This is like... I think only my second makeup tutorial video ever, so <laughs> hopefully it didn't go too bad and I'm in frame and stuff. 
And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around for a while, then hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!